So tax relief with pensions uh, is one of the, the key areas where you can benefit from a, quite a, a strong uh, uplift with your contributions from the government and uh, it really does come into play if you're a higher rate taxpayer. So tax relief on pensions is one of the areas that can really help boost your long-term savings. In particular, this carries value for, for higher rate taxpayers. It's good for basic rate taxpayers as well, but we've got a working example as to how the, uh, the contributions that you put in can benefit from tax relief at different levels. So we use an example here of an individual, Jeff, he earns £80,000 per year. Uh, he's planning on retiring in two years' time. And having looked at his finances, he thinks he'll be a basic rate taxpayer when he does retire. In reality, most people are not high rate taxpayers in retirement because they've not built up the kind of money that's going to give them in excess of £40,000 a year. And if they have, well, well done. So what we're looking at here is, is Jeff, he's questioning whether to make pension contributions at this late stage of, of his working career. Uh, and the answer is, is an emphatic yes. So looking at this matrix, what we've done is we've compared the uplifts on, of contributions in terms of putting money in versus uh, taking it out. And let's have a look at Jeff's circumstances. So he's a high rate taxpayer when he's putting money in. So £100 is actually really costing him 60 and he's going to be a basic rate taxpayer on the way out. So you can see here the red circle that equates to him seeing a 41.7% increase in his money. Just to highlight how we've got to that figure, let's assume a contribution of £10,000 has been made. Well, that's cost him £6,000. On the way out, he can take 25% as a tax-free lump sum, so that's £2,500. And the residual uh, £7,500 taxed at 20% because he's now a basic rate taxpayer uh, ends up with uh, £6,000. So that in theory, he's put £6,000 in and he's taken out eight and a half thousand pounds. So he's just had a return on his money of nearly 42%. So it's quite a powerful way of making your wealth grow, both in the earlier stages of your working life, but also just because you've maybe close retirement, it doesn't mean you should ignore, uh, ignore pensions.